Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is maximum eraser value. You are given an array of positive integers nums and want to erase the subarray containing unique elements. The score you get by erasing the subarray is equal to the sum of its elements, the elements of the subarray that we deleted anyway. So return the maximum score you can get by erasing exactly one subarray. So essentially we want to find a contiguous subsequence inside here that contains all unique elements uh, with the greatest sum. And we just want to return that sum, not the, not the array itself, uh, and that would be it. So they give you a few hints telling you to uh, have like two pointer solutions. And we can cer certainly go that route, but what I'm going to do is a sliding window technique. It's very similar. Uh, what we'll do is start off by having some sort of pointer pointing to the very beginning. Now, what I'm going to do is have a, uh, a lookup that's just going to contain a dictionary with the integer as the key and the index number as the value. So what's going to happen is we're just going to iterate down our list and sum up all the values here. So starting with 4, we say 4, then 6. But whenever we see that we've seen this number before by adding it to our scene, what we'll do is move this pointer ahead to the point at which uh, 4 is plus 1. So here 4 is at 0, so we just need to move this pointer here. And each time we do that, we want to subtract all the values as we move along. So that's kind of like the sliding window. Uh, so here, we, at this point, we had 6, but now we're going to subtract 4, so now it's at 2. And then we're going to add back this 4, so now it's at 6. Now this is 10. Now this is 11. And if you can imagine if we had like a 5 here, what we'd have to do is move this all the way back this, at this point, subtracting all the values from our max value. And each time we'll be um, storing the max sum at each, each, in, um, each, each index number. And... Hopefully that makes sense. So let's go through this. All right. So first we're going to have a uh, lookup. I'm going to call it scene. And this is going to have the integer value as well as the index number as its key. Uh, next we'll have our max that we'll be calculating each time in our loop as well as the final output, both starting with zero. And we also need to have our left pointer, which is going to start at zero. And uh, we'll have a while loop to increase that whenever we've seen this integer before. Okay, so for index number and and, and enumerate nums, what we want to do, let's first check to see if we've seen this number before. So if n in scene, we're going to do a while loop while l is less than scene n plus 1. Remember, we want to uh, get to the point where we're past this number. And each time we're going to subtract from our for our max, the, let's see, nums l, and we will decrease our l by 1, I'm sorry, increase our l by 1, by one. and that should be it. Now, um, if this isn't the case, we're going to put into our scene here, we'll update it each time with the index number, and we'll always increase our max by whatever this value is. And finally, we want to record the, the actual maximum here. So that's going to be output equals max of output and max. Finally, after this point, we want to return the output, not the max. OK, so let's see if this works. OK, that looks like it's working. So let's submit it. And there we go, accepted. So this is essentially the two-pointer technique, but um, I didn't quite use two pointers, it's more like a sliding window. So uh, time complexity is O of n, but we do use O of n space as well because of the scene. Um, I don't know how you can avoid that though. So, all right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.